Hello fellow humans, welcome back to Art Notes. Today what we're gonna be working on is the arms of this mesh. This body specifically uh, is gonna be mostly uh, inspired to be work for James uh, body type. So I'm gonna keep it as simple as possible but it's gonna be more inspired to be that uh, body shape. I apologize that I haven't kept going with the painting. Uh, right now I'm too excited for that and I really want to keep going with the animation. I will come back to it uh, next video uh, so I can do the painting without having to be bothered by where the microphone is going to be located. But I definitely am coming back. Like before, we are going to set up uh, most of the regular basic shape of what, let's say for example in this sense, the arm is. And then from there, we're going to work with the muscles. The same as before, it's the same procedures every time. You first get the basic shape and then you get the muscles and everything that would move with that area. Okay. Some of the videos got corrupted and some of the footage is missing here. Uh, but it's not that important what uh, you miss. It's uh, mostly the crush area I was working on and the rear end. So I guess most of you guys don't want to watch that. What most I'm gonna be working on here is the symmetrized tool. I recommend it for anybody that wants to work on an area and not have to replicate everything mirrored and that way you don't have to uh, spend that much time in the mesh. Now you gotta remember that this tool has a setup where it doesn't exactly uh, symmetrize if you don't choose the whole mesh. If you just choose one part as I'm showing here, it will actually just replicate the part separately and then you would have to join the whole thing together. So the best way to do is just choose all the mesh completely. Just click uh, A and click again so it chooses the whole mesh. And from there it just hits symmetrize and it actually uh, automatically uh, replicates whatever is mirrored from the other side. Another thing is that depending on what side you made that mesh from, uh, one of the sides is going to be mirrored. So that means that before you do anything, test which area was to done on. Something like, um, in this sense, for me it was the left side, so I gotta do everything in the left side, and the right side gets symmetrized. Last thing is uh, I'm gonna do a patch shop. I would recommend you to go ahead and uh, study more on what is a patch shop. Mostly this is for the amateur area where you're gonna move the bones and things like that. The 
elbow moves in such a way and it bends in such a way that if it doesn't have that patch it will not work like an elbow it's just gonna look like a tube that has been bent and it's not gonna look nice so you want to make a patch in the area where the elbow would be located from there uh, the best way to do it is uh, to do this patch that I'm doing if you want to look for it it's a uh, the Pixar elbow it was really complex I had a long time to actually do it I really had to like study it and see how it works because it is so specific and it has a geometry that is not regular for the mesh to work with so you gotta know where you're gonna put every point every vertice every edge in every face so it works nice from there that's all I got for today if you want to watch more, you can actually go down there in the description or wait for this video to be over and there is some link. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.